Hello guys, this is another Java video and uh, today we're gonna talk about assert J. So this is another uh, test uh, based video. Uh, assert J, it is a fluent interface for assertions that you can use in unit testing, in contract testing, integration tests and um, um, so let's see, let's see some code, right? So here I had some effort to make the examples on the site uh, to work uh, because they had a very cool Lord of the Rings um, uh, API that they were testing. So I download that and I install it. Um, and I also had to copy some classes here um, and, and then I made it compile. So uh, let, let's take a look, all right? Um, so basically for a search J, you just need one uh, the penis, which is this uh, assert J core, um, him getting the examples and also um, build uh, another library outside. Um, so I could copy also some code and make it work, but it, it doesn't matter. In, in your project, you just need this one uh, dependency, all right? And uh, let, let's uh, see the power of the fluent assert and APIs, right? So here, I have uh, a class uh, and it extends abstract assertion examples. It goes with, with assertions, right? And um, basically um, th th there is a Frodo. Uh, you can assert that, uh, that his name is equal to Frodo, right? So uh, you can also say that it's not equal to Sauron. So they don't have same uh, names. Uh, you can assert that Frodo.getName starts with Fro and ends with Do and is equal to ignore case to Frodo, right? Um, you can also do a, f a Fellowship of the Ring, which is a list of token uh, characters um, that are implemented by an array list um, that has the size 9. Uh, if, if you didn't watch the movies, you're having a hard time now. Um, that contains the objects Frodo and Sen uh, and does not contain Sauron, right? Um, then you can also do a set that Frodo.age uh, as uh, check something age and Frodo that get name is equal to uh, 32, right? So this as is designed right to describe uh, the test right if there is an error um you know we can see that error so basically this part is just uh, in case of failure right what we are doing here is checking that frodo h is equal to 32 but you can do this custom message in this fluent way which is pretty cool we also can do assertions for exceptions then you can do assert that throw by and uh, you have some code that potentially throw an exception in my case we explicitly throw an exception boom and then you can check that has a message boom um, you can also do more like pdd style like you can catch throwable uh, and then you can assert that throw has a message containing boom i prefer this way but you can do this way too then there's this extracting which is pretty cool feature so on the fellowship of the ring as you can see is a list of a token character a token character is a pojo that has age name haze um right so what the extraction does is I can assert that that list, right? Having that uh, pojus, and I want to extract name, age, and haste name. And then um, it gets that properties only, name, age, and haste name. And then I can check uh, containing some tuples, right? Which is the, the values. And then I can check if there is Boromir, that he's 37 and man, that has 138 uh, Hobbit, that has Legolas, 1000 and Elf, and that's pretty cool, right? If you would uh, get that properties, you would, you know, get the list, check the ID, confer the names, do some if. So this will be easily 10 lines of code. And here you can see it's pretty compact. So it's pretty nice feature. It also can do some filtering. So for the same list, I can do filter on. And then you can pass a lambda uh, that I'm saying that um, I want to get the character and I want to check uh, if the character gets the name. Uh, get, getting the name of the, the character contains the letter O. Uh, in any place of the character names, there's O. And then I can check if contains only. And then I pass the Pojos, right? That Aragorn, Frodo, Legolas, and Boromir, all right? 
uh, and also we can do uh, um, another kind of abstraction with filtering together where we can say assert that the fellowship of the ring is filter on and then I, I get the name of the character make sure it contains an O only on that same one so here so far is the same as the previous example uh, but I want to extract uh, the character uh, Hayes and the name of that Hayes and I want to make sure that in this list, right, it has Hobbit, Elf and Man, right? So it's really powerful, uh, fluent uh, DSLs. We, we can run this code so you guys see uh, it work. This is really cool uh, features in Assert J. So I really consider to start using uh, in your projects. This is very cool assertion framework, Assert J. So that's it, guys. I hope you like it. See you next time. Cheers.